Escape from Bellsprout Tower, and I'm going to use Chikorita for that since uh, it's daytime right now, which means only wild Rattatas in here, and Chikorita is the only one who can harm these. So, um, yeah, about the three eggs that I got from uh, Primo, Primo, whatever, however you call him, uh, I, I checked, and they're supposed to be pretty close to hatching, so, um, I don't know what... I'm gonna do, maybe I'm gonna have to stop at some point in order to ha have them hatch, because as you remember, I want to use a blooper as an HM slave, and uh, since it's not hatched, and, uh, well, I already got the Flash TM, I already got the Rock Smash HM, and I'm soon going to get permission to get the, to get the Rock Smash HM. So, anyway, what I'm gonna do first, oh, after healing my team, of course, I'm gonna send Ghastly back in the lead, because I don't expect there to be any other wild Pokémon. There we go. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head to the Ruins of Alf, because, well, I picked up that escape rope that was next to the Elder in the Bellsprout Tower, and, uh, remember, the escape rope was, I need, was what I needed to get into the vault in the in the back of the puzzle room, all the way over at the Ruins of Alps. I'm just gonna heal my team, and we're gonna head over there real quick. Yeah, those vaults have all kinds of requirements. Uh, the first one, obviously, you have to use an escape rope next to the wall, or maybe it's anywhere in the whole chamber. I don't really remember, but I'm not, I'm not gonna take any chances, and I'm gonna use it right in front of the wall with the, the unknown speed. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you remember, there are two ways into the Ruins of Alf. One's on Route 36, and one's on Route 32. This is the entrance I'm gonna be using right now because it's, it's a little bit faster. And, uh, yeah, other vaults have, uh, a variety of requirements. Okay, there's nothing interesting on that sign. Uh, one of them requires you to bring who there. Now, hard gold players are gonna be at an advantage because they can get into that vault much earlier. Whereas, since I'm playing Soul Silver, I'm gonna need uh, to have reached Pewter City in order to get who to begin with. So, let's go over to that back wall, and let's use an escape rope. There we go. So, the door should open, and there are gonna be four items behind that, that door. So, we got an orange berry. Yeah, really interesting, right? Petra berry. And other than that, we have Energy Powder. It's one of those items that uh, cures your Pokémon from various stuff, but uh, lowers their happiness. Same for the Heal Powder. And down there, there's gonna be Unknown Speak. And oh, it's different this time around. Our clan engraved words in this place. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what it was in uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal. I think it's our words shall remain here for the ages, or something like that. I, it, it, would, it would actually be really weird if I got it perfectly right, because it would just prove how much of a nerd I am. Anyway, I'm gonna try and make it back to uh, the entrance of this room, which is uh, in the middle. And, you know, when I was grinding here, it made me realize to which extent those things' damage output was really, really erratic. I mean, I, I, I already knew that, but it becomes that much more obvious when you're fighting a whole crap ton of them. For example, well, obviously, Hidden Power can be 16 different types, that is, all of them except Normal. And you can draw a type that you're weak to, that you resist, that you're normal to, or that you're immune to. That right there is a pretty huge range. And in Unown's case, you also have the added threat of HP Psychic being not only super effective on Ghastly, but it also gets stabbed. So, uh, Hidden Power Psychic is... was pretty much almost instant death for Ghastly, I couldn't really tell because I don't, I didn't have any damage calculators in front of me, but yeah, the fact that I had to take uh, super effective hits every now and then meant that uh, I had to uh, make a lot of trips back to the Pokemon Center, so just in case you're wondering how come my three eggs are already so close to hatching, well, that's why so many trips to the Pokémon Center and back to the Ruins of Alf. Well, that's... I guess that's the drawback of uh, grinding a Pokémon that you're actually gonna make... You're gonna actually make it battle yourself. That means it's gonna 
lose a, a ton of energy pretty fast if you get unlucky with Unown. And another thing about Hidden Power that I failed to mention is that, well, not only does it have 16 different potential types, but its power can be anywhere between 30 and 70. 30, I can take that easily at that point of the game, but 70, at this point of the game, it's actually pretty high, so you, you don't see it that often. Anyway, made it out of the ruins of Valve, and um, my eggs still haven't hatched, so I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back to heal at the Pokémon Center. And if my Wooper egg hasn't hatched by then, um, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, run a, li a little bit off screen in order to actually make it hatch, because I'm gonna need that Wooper to, in order to give it flash so I can go in the dark cave which is next on the menu. I guess I could do the gym first, but um, uh, I see no reason not to go to the dark cave first since, well, I'm, g I'm not gonna get uh, a lot of experience in there, but that is better than none, and uh, fight against Palkner is something that I wouldn't say that I dread, but um, uh, it's still going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, I'm gonna require a bit of strategy for this one. So, no hatching, I'm just gonna grab the Sapricorn, and after that, I'll run around like a headless chicken off-screen in order to hatch that egg. So, I guess I'll see you whenever that happens. Okay, we got a first egg that hatches here. Which one is it? Sort of hoping it's Wooper. Please let it be Wooper. Yeah, it's Wooper! Alright, so... Uh, now I can give it both Flash and Rock Smash. Uh, I originally intended on giving Rock Smash to uh, Sentret once it evolved, however, uh, it only learns Rock Smash when it actually evolves, so I'm gonna give Wooper to... Uh, I'm gonna give both to Wooper, and I guess when I reach Blackthorn and the move deleter, I'm gonna reshuffle my HMs around a little bit. I checked, there shouldn't be that much of a problem. So, now that our Wooper can actually learn Flash, we can head into the Dark Cave. Hello, Mr. Eyecatch. Apparently, that's what it's called. Don't quote me on that, though. So, Wooper. No, I didn't want to open the summary. I wanted to use Flash. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, we really can't explore much of the Dark Cave for the time being. You're pretty much seeing everything everywhere we can go to right now. There's uh, that, uh, that item we just saw, and there's another one that's hidden inside a rock that's very close to it. But, yeah. Uh, why did I want to come in here again? Well, I suppose uh, what little experience I grab here might come in handy or something, and I guess there are two items to pick up. But otherwise, this is a very, very, very small area that we can access right now. It sort of reminds me in, of uh, the Wellspring Cave in uh, Black and White, where when you first get there and there's the, the hidden item I was talking about, yeah, I knew about it for once. But yeah, it reminds me of the Wellspring Cave in Black and White, where, you know, um, you can only access a tiny fraction of it where when you first get there, and you can only explore the rest of the cave when it, once you get surfed. And guess it's worth mentioning while I'm, while I'm talking about it that the Wellspring Cave is the only place in the entire game where you can catch on Evolved Dragon Rollas because the next cave after that is Charge Stone Cave, which is late enough in the game that uh, you encounter wild Boldors instead. Gotta say, Boldor is probably one of the most hated Pokémons of all time uh, because of how often a sturdy activates when you try to kill one. But now I'm just rambling on about something that's totally unrelated. Um, guess I'm gonna go back to heal, though I don't think it's really necessary. And nonetheless, I'm gonna do so since uh, the Pokémon Center is on the way there. And after that, I'm gonna take on the first gym, which belongs to Faulkner. It's a fighting... FLYING type gym, sorry. Not fighting, flying. Fighting is gonna be a little bit later on. So yeah, flying type gym, which means Chikorita's weak to it, and Ghastly is completely walled by the Pokemon in there since they're all normal flyers. Can't believe it took 14 years for uh, for, the, for them to make a pure flying Pokemon, and then happens to be a legendary. So what's this guy gonna say? It's the 
usual helper that's at, that's at the entrance of every single gym in Pokemon history. Anyway, let's see what advice he has to give me this time around. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Um, okay. Not that I didn't know that. I'm gonna send out uh, Chikorita, obviously, since Ghastly can't do a damn thing to anything in there without curse. And anyway, as you see, as you're seeing right now, the gym was aesthetically improved a lot uh, in this version of the game. Back in the originals, everything was on the ground floor, but now they added this uh, elevator thingy, and now everyone, everything is on a very dangerous-looking second floor. And uh, quite frankly, had I, had I been uh, still a kid and more naive than that, I would be scared to, you know, uh, walk in the wrong direction and fall off to my death. But uh, that is thankfully something that the Pokemon games don't allow for. It's not that kind of game. Actually, it sort of reminds me of um, uh, the original Diablo. I've heard stories about how players were afraid to fall in the lava in the cave levels because... There were those huge horned demons that charged out at, at you and uh, made you uh, fall back a few tiles whenever you, whenever you got hit by their ramming attack. And people were afraid to fall into the lava and die, even though it was impossible to step on the lava. Still, it, it, it's funny when you're not familiar with something, what kind of things that you uh, can think about. Uh, anyway, that first underling had a level 9 Spiro. It had Peck, but it wasn't too fearsome since I already dealt with level 10 Hoot Hoot back in the Bellsprout Tower. And I think, I, I think I'm gonna sneeze there. No, no, no sneezing? Okay, thank you. That, that, that's good. But uh, yeah, the thing I was about to say about Spiro is that it has much better attack than Hoot Hoot. So, it's... I guess it could have sort of worried me, but it's not as bulky as Hoot Hoot, not by a long shot. Needed to uh, stall with poison powder to deal with that Hoot Hoot, but uh, thankfully, no need for that this time. And oh god, Sand Attack. Uh, he's got two level 7 Pidgeys, I checked on uh, Serebi before I started recording. Uh, those don't have Gust yet, but uh, they do have Sand Attack which might be a pain in the ass if they keep doing it over and over and over. So, let's try nailing another Razor Leaf. Nope. Not gonna... Ah, oh, come on! Oh, God, fine, I'm gonna switch to Ghastly, even though, well, at least it, it walls me, but I wall it as well, so... Okay, take the Sand Attack at least, so I'm gonna send back um, Chikorita. And uh, no, that was the wrong button. But anyway, now that uh, my sand attack count is reset, I'm sort of hoping for a tackle. No, nope. sand attack again. Good lord! And here we go, Razor Leaf. Uh, thankfully, Razor Leaf isn't one of those moves with ridiculously low accuracy. It's it's not perfect, but it's 95, which is obviously as good as you're gonna get without being perfect. But um. Oh, Razor Leaf connects. Okay, so, well, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take it. Uh, so that does it for the underlings in this gym. Already, there were only two. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center to heal because uh, this is going to be a tricky battle. And I'm going to do it off screen since I'm coming up on the time limit. So I'll be right back. Okay, I only had the time to take one or two steps back. And there we go. Another Heg. Hatching, which one is it? Oh, it's Mary! Well, not that I'm gonna need it, but um, still, it was free, so I guess I'll take that.